Hello. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to Live from Emmett's Place, number 14. Um, I hope you all can hear me today because we're doing a little bit of a, a, little bit of a different setup. Um, so I'm going to be reading, reading some comments. Yeah, yeah, just, just making sure you can hear me because one of these weeks we played a whole song and no one could hear anything. Anyway, if you can hear me, which I'm assuming you can, that's Mr. Kyle Poole on the drums. <laughs> on the bass, taking the place of Russell, but someone that we, we collaborate with frequently, one of the great bass players of our time, um, someone who's played with everyone, been in New York for 20 years, and uh, is one of my teacher, one of my teachers out here, one of the great voices on the bass, Mr. Yasushi Nakamura. <laughs> and special guest tonight, sitting on the couch for now. Please say hello to Mr. Johnny O'Neill. <laughs> the real deal. We'll hear from him in a minute. Yours truly, Emmett Cohen. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, yeah, we're going to check, check this out for a sec. Play a little bit. OK, we got some, some feedback, but all right. Looks like everyone's cool. You know, sometimes we play a whole song and it's like it's not working yet.
Thank you very much. We're, we're working on this microphone situation here. Um, yeah, I just want to make sure it's cool. So, um, I moved to New York about eight years ago. Let's make sure this mic is happening. I moved to New York about eight, eight years ago. <laughs> Just have something good And uh, upon moving here, I went out to the clubs. I went to, uh, to all the clubs every night for three months trying to figure out what the truth was, where, where, where I could find the knowledge, where I could find the information, where I could find a sense of community. And so I went uh, and heard Mr. Johnny O'Neill down at Smalls and fell in love immediately with the, with the artist, with the man, with the legend, with the teacher, with all of that. And he's blessed us so much over the years, um, taking us under all under our wing, mentoring a whole generation of musicians, not only me, um, but Kyle here, Yasushi, Yasushi, when he walked in and said, remember we used to play at, uh, at Birdland every Sunday for, for a whole year, 20 years ago? Is that 20 years ago? <laughs> 10 years ago. I'm dating Yasushi. <laughs> I'm dating Yasushi, for real. I mean, not like that. But, um, right. <laughs> Anyway, um, all that to say, this man is very, very special um, force in the music. He's he's one of the great piano players. Um, I also also go go check him out um, when he plays. Every time I'm around New York, check him out. And his touch on the piano, I've learned so much about how to get different kind of sounds out of the piano from 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 his fingers. And he calls the Casper the friendly ghost touch. <laughs> And I was like, what is that? And then he'll play, and they'll call me up to play, and then I'll have, like, the, the elephant touch. <laughs> the, the Dumbo the elephant touch. And, uh, and, and it made me realize, you know, what, what, what the possibilities. But, um, uh, and, 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 you know, we also lost one of our great songsmiths and one of the great uh, heroes of jazz for the last 65 years, Mr. Freddie Cole. And... Um, when, whenever, whenever I, I talk to Mr. Houston person, you know, he says there's 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 only a couple guys that know that many songs. It's, it's Freddie Cole and it's Johnny O'Neill, um, a few others, but but uh, but Johnny is in that in that legacy of Nat King Cole, Freddie Cole, songsmiths, where you, they they know more tunes than than I forgot. They forgot more. T- I, I forgot more tunes than you know. <laughs> I, they forgot more tunes than I'll ever know. That's that's the that's the one I'm looking for. And so it's my great pleasure to introduce one of the great jazz musicians of all time. Please put your hands together, Mr. Johnny O'Neill. Thank you, Amy. This is a tune that um, Freddie Cole did so well, written by Bobby Troop. This is called Why Try to Change Me Now. Get sentimental as I walk in the rain. I have some habits, even I can't explain. I start for the corner and turn out in space. Why try to change me? Sit and daydream. I've got daydreams galore. Cigarette ashes. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, they go on the floor. I'll go away weekends and leave my keys in the door. 
Why try to change me now? Why can I be more conventional? People talk, people stare, so I try. But that's not for me, cause I can't see my kind of crazy world. Go passing me by Let people wonder Let them laugh Let them frown Darling, you know I'll love you Till the moon's upside down Don't you remember I was always your clown. Why try to change me now? So it's good to be back on the scene. And I call this being back on the scene to all people that's watching <laughs> around the world right now. <laughs> back on the 
we didn't have anything planned, but you know what? Exactly. This is a great tune that we used to do then. <laughs> great tune by the great Bill Evans. Oh, yeah. We like to do this beautiful tune called Waltz for Debbie. In her own sweet world, populated with dolls and clowns, and a prince and a big purple bear. He Those weary frowns, those weary grown ups always in the sun. She dances to silent music, songs that are spot of gold somewhere in her own little head. She 
you grow up and she leave her dolls and her prints and that old silly face when she goes they will cry and they whisper
Mr. Johnny O'Neill, the, the mic wasn't on. <laughs> for me, the mic was on for you. I think. That's the thing, you can never tell with the live streams. <laughs> <laughs> but it feels good in the room. <laughs> anyway, if you, if you just. No, you have it on. Yeah, everyone's, everyone's liking it. Cool. Yeah, you know, it's hard to tell on technology. But anyway, this is one of the great jazz musicians of all time, and he's he, he, he gracing us with, our, with his presence. And we love him very dearly, and you're one of the greatest ever. So thank you for coming over and and, sing, and singing singing with us. Great. You wanna play some piano? Oh. Yes. Yes. Yeah, we're gonna ask Mr. O'Neill to play a little piano. I'd like to pay homage to the late and great Freddie Cole. Yes. At the end of the day, we tell ourselves, did we ever really live? He lived a very wonderful life. And this is for Freddie and his wonderful family. And for those who's out there watching around the world, this is called, Did I Ever Really Live? <laughs> born, you weak, you smile, you sleep, you cling, you crawl, you stand, you fall, then one day you try to walk, you eat, you drink, you feel, you think. You play, you know, you laugh, you go. Then one day, you try to talk, you young, you fly, you laugh, you cry, you grow, you own your world at last. days begins to slip away too fast too soon we are here at distant drum too soon the time will come and time won't wait for you to ask did I ever love? Did I ever give? Did I ever really
grown at last You move your ways to days begin To slip away too fast Too soon You will hear a distant drum Too soon The time will come Time won't wait for you to ask Did I ever love? Did I ever give? Did I ever really live? It's a few of us here, but we still feel like we were performing live in a club or whatever. Yeah. You know, yeah. Wonderful audience. It's about 950 people watching. Wow. And all you ladies people out to watch, watch it. Yeah, I told you. Don't ever give up. <laughs> we will return. <laughs> <laughs> our faith has been tested, but we're going to be okay. <laughs> and as our Blakey would say, music washes away the dusk of every day's life. Yes. What would you like to do now? Yeah. What, the mailman? You sure? You sure? Oh, you want to you take it to the place of the Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> Turn off all the lights and call the law. <laughs> I swear to God, I wasn't gonna holler the blues, but <laughs> hell no. Nah. You don't know what love is until you learn the meaning of the blues. That's right. This is for Curl and Wanzo back in Detroit. It's for you, Wanzo. Well, I've got a mind to ramble. Well, I got a mind to go back home. Well, I said I got a mind, I got a mind to ramble. Well, I've got a mind to go back home. Well, I've got a mind to be a good man and leave all you fine New York women alone. Said it. She screamed murder, murder, murder. And I never raised my hand. Whoa, she screamed murder, 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 murder. And I never raised my hand. Well, I did tell her this. I said, you want to be my woman, you must come under my command. <laughs> Some people make love in the winter. Some make love in the fall. But I like to make love early in the morning. Because it's the coolest time of all. I love my baby. My baby won't behave. Well, I'm gonna follow you, baby. I'm gonna follow you. 
follow you to your grave. Tell them all about the blues, if, it, if you please. Oh, 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 yeah. I'm short and brown, but you cannot tell the difference when the sun goes down. Well, I love my baby. Yes, my baby won't behave. I'm going to follow you, baby. I'm going to follow you to your grave. Johnny. <laughs> Great Mr. Johnny O'Neill. Yeah, <laughs> We'd like to feature our bass player, Mr. Yasushi Nakamura. Ori originally from Tokyo, Japan. Yeah. By way of Seattle, yeah, Washington. Washington. <laughs> Ma made his way over to Boston. Went to Berkeley School, then went to uh, Juilliard, New York City, and has been on tour. Has been major force on the jazz scene in the creative improvisational world yeah. for many, many years. Right. And uh, you know, <laughs> this. <laughs> you know, before before uh, the whole pandemic. Before the whole pandemic, we, we used to call him the most working bass player <laughs> ever in the world. He, <laughs> he had more gigs than anybody. Um, yeah, 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 right. You know, he, he, was, he, was, he was like the, the first called number one bass player he is in, in about 20 bands. Yeah. And, uh, and, and, and it's because he makes everyone around him better and everyone around him play smarter and more intelligently. And he uplifts with his f with his bass lines from the bottom up. And if you have a good foundation, then everything else is going to soar. So we're going to feature Mr. Yasushi Nakamura.
Shout out Sushi Nakamura.
Symphonic Raps by Carol Dickerson, played by Louis Armstrong. Yeah, I don't know what to do after that. <laughs> we played everything we know, so yeah. Johnny didn't know. Oh, Johnny knows. Johnny, Johnny can keep playing for All right, we're gonna invite Mr. Johnny back because I can't I can't have him just sitting on the on the couch with that. for me to be here today and for those who's watching we thank you all for tuning in and Emmett is just the best give him another nice hand thanks for doing this Emmett for the world to see when the sun is high in the afternoon sky you can always Find something to do from dusk to dawn as the clock ticks on. Something happens to you in the wee small hours of the morning. Fast asleep. You lie awake and you think about the girl. Never ever think of counting sheep. When you're lonely, huh? Has learned his lesson. You be hers if all these she would call in the wee small hours of the morning. That's the time you. Her most of all. Mm. 
lonely heart has learned its lesson. You be hers if only she will call. In the wee small hours of the morning, that's the time you miss her most of all. That's the time you miss her more of all. Emmett always requests this tune, so I'm the new mayor carrier on the block, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> USPS. <coughs> Slips in the box. <laughs> We're going to take it home with this. Slips in the box. <laughs> Everyone, thank you so much. We appreciate you tuning in each and every week. We do this every Monday um, since, you know, there are no jazz clubs and tours and <laughs> Uh, it's too hot to play outside, <laughs> uh, but I want to help. I want I want help thanking on the drums the great Mr. Kyle Poole. Yes, sir. Yes. My ass is over here. Hello. On the bass, we got Mr. Yasushi Nakamura. On the piano, yours truly, Emmett Cohen. <laughs> and uh, people are asking about Russell. You know, Russell's out protesting today. He's leading. He's leading the protest. Um, but but Yasushi, we play with just as much. We got a beautiful community of musicians, and now that things are, he's cheersing you. Oh, okay. Now, <laughs> yes. now that things are opening <laughs> back up, we we have a chance to play with more people and um, and present them to you, and we appreciate that. And along with that. You know, we do have uh, some options for donations for some tips and stuff like that. So if anyone wants to donate, there's some PayPal and Venmo and Zelle and Cash App. And even Johnny's taking Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I, why is that so funny? <laughs> Who are you laughing um, and we also got a new membership uh, program on the website, so if anyone wants to check that out. If you haven't seen us before, you can sign up for the newsletter um, on the website. Just go to emmetcohen.com and check it out. Um, there's all kinds of stuff going on, and hopefully Johnny and I will be doing some more stuff um, coming up. You know, you live so close, might as well. You got to pay him big time, though. <laughs> Johnny, Johnny play Ray Charles in the movie Ray. And uh, so he's he's used to like you know he's he's used to to ro royal royal treatment. So he's coming and playing with us in the house. You know this is <laughs> this is what we got now. But this reminds us of like a, a Harlem rent party or something like that, where where uh, you know during prohibition there was nowhere to play, there was nowhere to, to to congregate, and so people did it in the house. And we got a virtual component now. So we thank you for tuning in. We thank you for your 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 donation. Share it. Tell a friend. Um, and if you didn't know Johnny before, check him out. He's the one of the great jazz musicians of all time, our teacher and our mentor, someone who's given us all, especially me, so much in New York, so many opportunities, and taught me so, so much. Uh, it's a pleasure and honor to present you in my house and to have you in my house and to play with you here and continue to learn from you. The one and only Mr. Johnny O'Neill. <laughs> That's why I come twice a day Because I'm your mailman 
knock your knockers, ring your bell. Gee, I think you're swell. Because I'm your mailman. I can come in any kind of weather. Because my bar is made of leather. I don't deal with keys or locks. I just slip it right in your box. I'm your mailman. Shop bar body bottle, no, no way. Beady bottle, lay bottle way. Shut up, big bob, head up, a hobo way. So whatever, lay down.
I walk down the road, I tend to drop my load because I'm your mailman. Well, somebody waits for me. Sugar sweet, so is she. I'm your mailman. Thank you to our in-studio audience right here. Thank you to our out-of-studio audience out there. We love you. We appreciate you. Thanks for, for tuning in. Come back next Monday and visit us. There's other stuff going on through the week. Visit the Emmett Cohen Facebook page and all that stuff. So thank you. Thank you so much. And we'll see you soon.